so when we go through then and we talk about these degrees with polynomials, we have um, different kinds of degrees and then some of them have specific names. So um, if I were to tell you something had degree zero, so I'm going to write a little work down here. If I said like 3x to the zero, what did we learn about this x to the zero last chapter? That it's one, right? So if x to the zero is one, wouldn't we just rewrite this as three times one or three? So when something has a zero degree, what happens is the variable drops out. So the name of this then, since it's just a number, the number um, we would say is a constant. In math we say a constant would be a number without a variable behind it. And my example would just be, I'll do that, 3x to the zero, and we don't e we're not going to even write that out, but it's just the number three. Okay, if we have something with an x or a y or whatever and it has degree 1, we learned that those things could look like lines. So we call something with degree 1 linear. My example for that is 2x minus 5. So there are two terms in this, this term and this term. The first term has degree 1 because the power of or the exponent of x is 1. This, remember, is degree 0 because it's x to the 0. All right. When we had things with degree 2, we studied these last semester. We had a name for them. I'll give you a hint. Good. They are called quadratic. And so this would be something where the highest degree is 2. So maybe I would say 5, I don't know, plus 2x, plus x squared. If I'm going through, I have three terms here. This one has the biggest degree, and it's 2. So that's what we say, would say it's quadratic then. Um, if something has a d highest degree 3, we say it is cubic. So maybe 2x to the third minus 4x, that would be something that's cubic. Degree, now after cubic guys, if you don't remember them, I'm not concerned. I think we should be able to say constant, linear. Those are terms we've used. Quadratic, cubic, something new. But if you want to know them, there is one for four and five. And they are called quartic, which makes sense, quartic with four. And five is quintic. Um, if you've ever heard of quintuplets, right? So we have twins, triplets quadruplets. There are things that, such things as quintuplets. Several years ago there was an octuplet. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, those, that's where those words come from. Quintuplets is, quin is like a, a prefix for five. Okay, so something that would be quartic, um, it can have multiple terms, but the highest term is degree four. So, I don't know, two minus three x squared plus 5x to the fourth. That's degree 4. By the way, if I told you that standard forms, I want to do to list the terms from highest degree to lowest degree, is the last one I wrote in standard form, Ben? No. What would have to be listed first to make this standard form? the 5x to the 4th. Good. We're going to practice some standard form in a second. Okay, so quintic, maybe I'd have 3x to the 5th minus 41. And then 6 plus, at 6 plus you just say degree 6 polynomial. If it's 7, degree 7 polynomial. If it's degree 8, degree 8 polynomial. I know, really boring. Okay, um, so... 
6 plus, we'll say degree n. So if I had um, 3x to the 7th plus 2, I would say this is just a degree 7 polynomial. That's how I would describe it. Okay, now we're going to classify polynomials by the number of terms. Terms are separated with an addition or a subtraction, okay? And so if something has one term, that just means there's one of them. Like for instance, let's find things that had one term. Well, this one did, right? But other than that, they didn't. We call this a monomial. A monomial just has one term. An example would be... Let's say I had 2xy. That's just one thing. One term. Now you might say, well, that's, Ms. Comrie, that's three things. It's, I mean, isn't it one thing as like a product? By a term, I mean there's no addition sign in there. Okay, if I add addition sign in, that makes more terms. Two terms we call a binomial. Um, this, this one that I'm pointing to right now, that's an example of a binomial because I have two terms, but I'll come up with another one. 2x minus 8 is an example of a binomial. Three terms is a trinomial. So maybe something like 2x squared minus 3y plus 5. That would be an example of a trinomial. And kind of the same deal as before. Once we get up past trinomial, we don't have names. We would say four terms, four-term polynomial. So I'll say n-term polynomial. So let me squeeze a little one in here. Um, 5xy minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. I would just say that this is a four-term polynomial. Okay, does this make sense so far? So let's, um, let's put it all together. Let's do three examples. First, we're going to put these in standard form. Then we're going to use this name to tell by the degree. And then we're going to use the name for the number of terms. So how would I write that in standard form, first of all? What should I do? Highest degree to lowest degree. So what should I list first? What do you think? What should I list first? So sure. 3n squared, isn't this a degree 2? And this is degree 0, right? So I want to list degree 2 first. Okay. What's the degree? 2. So what do we call it? Quadratic. How many terms are there? Two. We call it a binomial. Alrighty, next one. Well, this is easy. It's, if there's just one term, we can't rearrange it, right? So its standard form is five. Alright, what degree is this? 
zero. So what do we? Ha what's our name for degree zero above? Constant. And there's only one term, so we call it a monomial. Okay. So what do you think? Um, Sean, if I wanted to rearrange this in standard form, what should I put first? I, I want to go, let's go back to the top. We want to write the list terms from the highest degree to the lowest degree. 4x four. Four to the fourth should come first. Then what should come next? Minus x squared, because then that's the next highest degree. Then minus 2. So we find the greatest exponents in the polynomial equation in degree 4. So what would its name be? Quartic. Quartic. Good. And then let's see how many terms are there. Three. So we would call it a trinomial.